Thank you, Tierra. Let's go ahead and transition over to our forecast. A live look at our Southwest Virginia Community College camera. Clear skies. You can actually see the heat, though, building up the instability in those clouds. They're bubbling up. That's just a sign of that heat and humidity we're dealing with outdoors. And guess what? Into next week, we're going to continue with that heat and humidity. And guess what, folks? We're going to be even hotter as we go into Sunday. And during this forecast, I'm kind of trying to tell you guys how to stay safe because these heat, even though we're not in the heat advisory, it's very dangerous to be outside. And when you factor in the humidity dew points in the upper 60s and lower 70s, you bring that oppressive feeling outdoors. So here's this next graphic. This is actually our current heat indexes. This is what it feels like outside. Your body reacts like it's these temperatures. So although temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s, it feels like 90s in most spots. It feels like pushing towards 100 degrees as you head towards Pineville, Oceana, even as you head towards Pembroke, it feels like 96 degrees. So it feels much warmer. Your body's reacting like it's much warmer than it actually is. So you have to remember that before you step outdoors with how humid it is. Now you see these oranges both to our west and off to our east here. Those are heat advisories all around our viewing area. Luckily for our area, we aren't under any heat advisories, but I want you, I can't urge enough, keep in mind that even though with how hot we are, and we're not under any heat advisors. You still need to drink plenty of water. Take breaks if you're going to be outdoors and maybe go to a pool if you can, if it's not warm in itself. Now, we're not getting any rain showers at all to cool us down either. Most of the rain is staying off to our south along a stationary boundary. Boy, would it be nice to have a cooling shower like the Carolinas are getting right now. That cold front just did not cool us down much from passing us yesterday. We're actually seeing an upper level ridge build over our region that's keeping us hot and humid. Overall tonight will be down to the upper 60s, partly cloudy skies, but again, it'll feel warm and muggy. I stepped outside last night and you can just feel that humidity really hitting you. Don't be shocked if you're waking up in the morning having to use the windshield wipers and things like that due to the dew that's going to form on your cars tonight. As, as we go into Sunday, we're going to stay hot and humid even into early next week. The heat going to be staying with us as that upper level ridge stays over us. The humidity also staying with us as well, so it's going to feel a lot higher than what it actually is over the next several days. You heading to Monday, I think that humidity might be flirting with the low to mid 70s in some spots. So to start the work week, boy, it's going to be pretty steamy outdoors. Here's a look at your Sunday forecast. We're looking at those upper 80s and lower 90s. A few showers and storms possible tomorrow, but they're going to be very spotty. So that doesn't mean we're going to be able to cool things down. And if you're maybe heading out tomorrow for lunch after church, I can't tell you enough. You might want to bring some shorts or something to change and dress for summer tomorrow for sure. Slow down as well. Watch what you eat. Drink plenty of water, not just during your activities outdoors, but before you get outdoors as well. And again, hit the air conditioning as much as you can tomorrow. Temperatures to start the morning already in the upper 60s and lower 70s tomorrow. By lunchtime, we're passing the 80s, pushing 90 as we go in the sun. Sunday afternoon and then as we go into Monday night, maybe a few showers cool us down into the evening. But unfortunately, it's not going to cool us down much until the afternoon. We're warm over the next several days here, so we just got to hang in tight, drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. That's your forecast here. Back over to you.